What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve a 3x3. Before we start, let's check out the pieces. The ones with one color on them in the middle are the center pieces. The ones with two colors on them that surround the center piece okay, on the middle are the edge pieces. And the ones with three colors are the corner pieces. So let's get started. So the first step is the white cross. And in order to do the white cross, we're gonna start by making a daisy. And to make a daisy, you have to get all the white edges surrounding the yellow centerpiece. And as you see, we already have one but we need to get these other three up here mm. and to do that you can see that we need to move this up here and not do that all you have to do is this same with this but if you move it here that's incorrect so what you could do instead is move this here and then move this up then here i move this here so i could put it up but let's say you got something like this. You're just gonna wanna make it go here and then do a double move to get it up. Or let's say you have something like this. Now in this case, what I would do, I would just put, I would just put this right here so that I can move this out of the way and that this will go here. I put this down and then I put this one back here. And now that you have your daisy, you want to make the white cross. In order to do that, you need to put the cube in this position. It doesn't have to be the red certain piece. It could be here, here or here, but not the white or yellow. And it has to be yellow facing up. So what you do is you turn the cube on the top layer until it matches. Then you do an 180 degree turn over here. And you do that with all the sides. Like you see, this is not matching. So you turn it until it's matching. It looks like it's matching, but that's not a white edge piece. So you gotta do it again. Now it's matching, so you just do the 180 degree turn just like so and now the last one right here 180 degrees and now you got the white cross now that you have the first step the second step is to get the white corners so you're gonna find a white corner on the bottom it's a very unlikely you will not find a white corner on the bottom but we have one so we want to get this white corner on the top in its right piece so as you can see the white corner has blue and orange so you want to move it to the blue and orange blue and orange edge piece and center piece on the bottom and then you're gonna do this algorithm r prime d prime r d and you just gotta continue that until it's in its right place. And it cannot be oriented like this. It has to be in its right place. So you just do R prime D prime R D. Like that is not it. It's this one. Like that. And now you need to find another white piece. Green, orange, green, orange. Edge pieces and center pieces. And you just do the same thing all over and over again until you got it all right and now you got your first layer so congrats but let's say this unexpected case happens where there's none at the bottom you're just gonna take one of the unsolved ones and do r and deeper and rd so that it goes to the bottom and do what you need to do 
now what you're gonna want to do is solve the middle and in order to solve the middle make sure that everything is still in place this whole layer is intact and these are matching all right so you're gonna want to put the pieces on the bottom and you're gonna want to find a piece an edge piece on the top that does not have yellow on it if there isn't any then that's on yucky but i'll show you how to fix that at the end yeah and here i have a blue and orange one so what you're gonna do is could put it over here and in order to do that you just have to turn it either here or here it depends which one it matches with here or here and it matches here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this here move this part up move this here back and then you rotate and put this here up back and back down and now the edge piece is put and you want to do the same for the other pieces and you have to make sure it's matching because if it's not matching this is matching this is not so you have to make sure it's matching and you could do it all right here i also had the same case but we need to get a different case so i'm gonna do that right now Or, let's say you have one of the edge pieces, you have one last edge piece, but it's flipped. What you're going to do is take one of the yellow pieces and put it, and then you got it on top, you just fix it. But you might not get the same case like always. You might get the bar here instead of here. So you would just do it with the left version I mean the right version and there you got your middle layer next step is the yellow cross and in order to do that without messing up this whole part you're gonna need to know how to do this algorithm F R U R prime U prime, F prime, just like that. There are four cases you could get. The Ryan case, and if you get the Ryan case, you just have to do that algorithm once. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, real cross. Another case you could get is where you have this L right over here. And to do that, you must face it here and do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then do it again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Another case you could get is a dot case. And to do that, you just do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then you now have the L, so you put it here on the top left and then do it again and then one more time there now you have the yellow cross now once you have the yellow cross you want to make sure these are matching as you can see these are switched and you must find two matching pieces so you see we got one and you just turn the cube until you find two there now we have two you face it over here where it's right here and take these two and do this algorithm r u r prime u prime r u2 r prime and then just turn it until you see that they're all matching but another case you could get is where you have two matching and that every time you turn it the two matching pieces are opposite. So what you're going to do is just do that algorithm. And we have two matching pieces. Now we put them here and do the algorithm. Like so. Alright, now the next step 
is to make sure the corners are in the right place. They don't have to be matched. They just have to be in the right place, like this one. This is in this right place, if you can, you can kind of tell. So you just find one that is in its right place. And then you do this algorithm. You put it on the ref and do this algorithm. R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And then you just put it back. Now we have all matching. But if there are no pieces that are in their right place, you just do the algorithm. R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And check. Now there's one in its matching piece. Now you just gotta put it and do the algorithm. And if it doesn't work, you have to do it again. Just like so. Now the final step is you have to take the ones that are unsolved but are in its right piece. See, this one is solved, so we're gonna ignore that. You're gonna take the ones that are all unsolved. And you're gonna want to do the algorithm from before. R prime, U prime, R D prime. And you just keep doing that until it's on the top. But this is all messed up. So what do you do? You rotate the top to another unsolved one. R prime, D prime, R D. 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 Now it's matching. Now the last corner. Just do the algorithm. And now you're just gonna turn it until it's solved. And there, that's how you solve three by three beginner's method. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.